This is your reminder that your brain's a little hoe and it lies to you, so don't believe it. Our brain is designed to bring us evidence and to have us literally focus. Focus in areas that can prove different internal limiting beliefs we have to be true. So if I have a belief that says I'm not good enough, I will be attracting to me people, places, situations, and circumstances to prove that to be right. Because there is literal neuroscience, literal evidence that says our perception of ourselves and our perception of reality becomes our reality. And so this is so important to know and understand. Because if you have a life that is anything less than ideal, then it means that you have a co-participating element to it. And that if you can play your part, you can experience a different situation. Think about it. There have probably been times in your life where you were a little bit more abundant than what you are now. And there's also been times where you're at this level and probably even times that you were less. Showing that there is an infinite amount for us to experience. There's the whole spectrum. There's the good, there's the bad, there's the ugly. And so when it comes to the situation, what's most important is to audit where are our limiting beliefs? What do I believe that is not so positive? What do I believe that's actually a little bit negative? And even if I have this belief and it's based on external evidence because life has shown this to me, I want you to know, accept and surrender into this one thing and it's going to change your life. In the game of the chicken or the egg and which came first, your belief came first and then reality lined you up to that match. Meaning, whatever we know and believe to be true, regardless of whether it's factual or not, meaning it's not actually a fact that you're not good enough, but you just chose that narrative and you're stuck with it because maybe some losers in your life didn't show up the way that you wanted. And now you've used that and said, see, that's why I'm not good enough. See, that's why I'm not pretty enough. See, that's why I'm never the one. Or you've looked at your bank account and because it was less than what you wanted, you said, see, that's why money's hard to get. See, that's why no matter how hard I work, I can never get ahead. But I want you to think of this and it's going to blow your whole mind. Your perception is not even yours. <laughs> it's not even yours and I can prove it to you. When you were born as like a literal infant, okay, <laughs> like a baby that just came out of your mother's womb. Let's put that image in your head, okay? You had literally no ability to form perceptions. Your perceptions came from your primary caretakers, your authority figures, your race, your religion, your background, your socioeconomic status, your support system or lack thereof, your parents or lack thereof. Your perception came from your surroundings and the people that were in charge of you. Meaning you didn't actually have a say so over your perception. You just took and trusted whatever the people around you had because they're in charge of you. They have more experience than you. And so therefore, what they're believing must be the truth. So I'll give you an example for myself. If I saw my parents struggle so hard for money, I could have interpreted that as money's hard to come by. I could also have interpreted it as money's evil. I could have also interpreted it as interpreted it as working hard is noble and the people that get money easily well those are just selfish people because why would you not want to work hard for something do you see how there's an infinite amount of perceptions i could have taken on even from just witnessing something but my origin of perception came from what i saw and from the people that I trusted and my environment and the people around me that either supported me and lifted me up or tore me down, who told me lies, who had their own traumas and who projected that onto me knowingly or unknowingly to protect me because they had been hurt. They had been traumatized by how life worked out for them. And so they thought they were doing me some type of service. But because we're not taught in school how much our beliefs create our reality, what you need to take from this is that when it comes to your reality, life has always just matched you up to whatever you were focusing on or believing. 
So because you have this belief that says I'm not chosen, it's why no matter how pretty you are, how successful you are, how wealthy you are, or whether you wear a push-up bra or not, <laughs> your love life is not allowing you to attract men that choose you and want to be with you long term because you just don't believe that. And your perception technically came first and then reality just matched you up. Reality just matched you up. Now this should be incredibly freeing and empowering information because it means that once you shift your perception, you're gonna be matched to something different. Think about every area of your life that's not going the way you want. You have a certain narrative, a certain story you tell yourself for why it does not work out that way. And therefore it never gets better no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you try because your perception is distorted. You have a warped, viewpoint. And because reality can never outwork your perception, you have to go first. You have to change your perception if you want to change your reality or just get comfortable in get comfortable in the shit. Think of it this way. I want you to think of God, universe, source, whatever you believe in, as they're just sitting, God's just sitting on his throne and he's just looking at you like this. Being like, when is this bitch ever going to think better? <laughs> Literally. They're going to be like this hoe over here just literally will not change her perception to sa save her life. And think of God, universe, source, higher intelligence, whatever you believe in, as literally just sitting here and they're waiting on you. They're getting frustrated at you because they're like, I'm trying to send her the man, but she's just not getting her head out of her ass. He's just not getting his head out of his ass. He just can't stop being a victim to his environment. And so think of God, universe, source, whatever you believe in, as being like this hoe over here. Just literally cannot think better. Are you serious? I've given them so much abundance. I've given them so much love around them. I've given them so much reasons to believe better. And they just won't do it. And think of God, universe, source, higher intelligence, whatever you believe in, Mother Earth, as being like they can only meet you a certain part of the way. You've got to meet them the other way. They can't have your self-enlightenment for you. They can't be a little worm and go into your ear and reprogram your subconscious mind because you're unwilling to stop being a victim to your reality. Until you stop being married to the negative and you're willing to see things differently. And if you haven't seen my discipline video, please go onto my page and check that out. It's really going to change your life. Things just can't get better. God's waiting. You think you're waiting. You think you're waiting on divine timing or God or universe or source. Meanwhile, they're just over here being like, this bitch over here will not get her head out of her fat ass. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with having a fat ass. Nothing wrong with that at all. You know? But do we want our things? Or what are we, what are we doing exactly? Because if we're not moving ahead, we're technically just staying stuck. And I don't know about you, but staying stuck is unacceptable to me. I'm either getting my shit or I'm giving up. Because I realize, I know, I accept, I surrender to the fact that it's either put up or shut up. It's put up or shut up. The universe doesn't have a little get out of jail free card. You know what? You've been through struggles. Here you go. Get out of jail free. You don't have to do any of the work. I'll just give you everything. Who has a life like that other than not a damn person? We've got to take personal accountability in our lives. This does not mean that we've created every single thing that has ever happened on the face of the earth, but it means our perception creates our reality. The universe is responding to us. So here's my question to you. Are you willing to go first? 